Good evening, I'm Valerie Michelet. I'm the chair of the Children and Families Forum. It's lovely to be here this evening. I want to say first of all thank you Councillor Evans and Doug Patterson who have highlighted the importance of all of us working together. They're actually posing a question, aren't they? How do we creatively share responsibility for our children, young people and families? It is wonderful and indeed appropriate that the Children and Families Forum has been involved in promoting this conference. Even more important that we are furthering the conversation that is at the heart of this evening. The Forum represents 250 local charities, all of whom working with children, young people and families. And our raison d'etre from the early 90s when first established has been to find ways to support each other. We're old hands at this and we're passionate about it. Passionate about finding ways to share our resources, our ideas, our experience, our training. And that's because we want our young people to flourish. This isn't about them getting by. This is about our children flourishing. It is, of course, our direct relationship with our members that gives us an understanding of their concerns and their needs. The Forum Umbrella reaches over such a wide range of different organizations. We hear such different voices. So I want to take one of my five minutes and just mention a few people who are here this evening because each of them has come really understanding the young people they work with and knowing their <coughs> needs. So I'm really keen to, to mention, first of all, MenCap. Jill, where are you? Also the Deputy Chair of the Forum. There's Jill. Uh, Paul, who's the Assistant District Commissioner for the Scouts. Jane and June, who are therapists at Bromley Y. David, who's here from the Crystal Palace Development um, uh, for Association. Judy, who is our Development Officer of the Forum and others, all of whom can speak directly about the needs of our community. So they're hearing very specific needs, but in general, what are we hearing from our young people and families? First of all, it won't surprise you, there's an immense increase in anxiety that young people and families are experiencing. They express this anxiety in many different ways, some by sustaining low mood, others by self-harming, and yet others have suicidal feelings. Our young people talk about how complex it is to live in a world ruled by social media, a world that tells them how they must look, how they must feel. And this world can be oppressive and bullying and relentless. And our parents tell us that this world frightens them. They don't know how to enter their children's world. That coupled with the fact that they have to provide for their families. And of course, many of the families that we work with have children with additional needs. And that's always an additional concern about how to support those children in an altered social care system. Both young people and their parents are feeling anxious about the future. The cost of further education, the lack of jobs, and the lack of affordable accommodation. It isn't surprising that parents can feel frightened and children can feel unhappy. So how do we move forward to support and encourage our young people and their families? How do we help them develop the resilience and the confidence they need to shape their futures? It's the answers to these questions that we want to move toward tonight, all of us together. We'll have an opportunity to hear about developing resilience shortly. And of course, that's a wonderful tool to fight anxiety and depression. And we'll be able to learn from each other in the workshops. Bromley can be proud of its voluntary sector history. I'm proud of its relationship with the local authority, which has always tried to be a positive partner. Indeed, the local authority commissioners appointed a local charity to establish and develop its single point of access, as uh, Councillor Evans mentioned, and that is a service that is going from strength to strength. We have always worked together, and the need is greater than ever today. So I look forward to this evening's work, and the Forum looks forward to achieving a healthier, stronger, and vibrant Bromley community. Thank you.